Here's Jesse Lingard, and it's broken here, and Lingard takes it on and hits it. The trajectory of Jesse Lingard's career has been rather interesting. It's one we're keen to discuss today. Lingard emerged from the Manchester United Academy with big hopes on him. As a tiny kid, his jerseys were often oversized due to his thin frame. Nevertheless, he was a talented attacking midfielder who played with maverick freedom and excelled at dribbling and creating chances. He did have it tough as well. In fact, he went through a series of loan spells to get to grips with the intense physicality of the men's game. However, he always impressed and duly earned a first-team debut at Old Trafford on Louis van Gaal's debut. His skill and raw pace were refined under Jose Mourinho as he developed a reputation of a big game player. Lingard's eccentricity was inseparable from his game. Sadly, it all came crashing down soon enough. However, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's reign coincided in a loss of form and a spell out of the team. It got even worse. Lingard soon had one of the worst stats you could imagine. It turned out to be an all-time low as the winger failed to score for over a year. It seemed like his career was over, but you can never write anyone off too soon. Yet he bounced back in a spectacular loan spell at West Ham in 2021 as he made an immediate impact in East London. He scored nine goals and five assists in 16 games. In perspective, Lingard had scored more league goals for West Ham than he ever managed in a single season at Manchester United. What a great turnaround. But what is the story behind it? Now, have you wondered what made Lingard so good in six months at West Ham? We bring you the interesting answers to this question. But before we get to the fun, please subscribe to our channel for more of this content and click the bell icon next to it. Here we go. Recently, Lingard revealed the mental struggles during his extended spell without football at Old Trafford. In the darkest moments of his struggles, he summed up his outward appearance. My confidence was shot. You can be that happy-go-lucky guy bouncing around the training ground, but deep down you're wearing that smile as a mask. Due to the heavy online criticism and abuse that is also familiar to the modern-day footballer, Lingard didn't want to leave his house for fear of being recognized. It got so bad that he even considered a transfer to China or Saudi Arabia, far away from the spotlight and the scrutiny. He even recalled that during the bad periods, he resorted to drinking at night. Fortunately for him, he had his brother, Louis Scott, and a coach of the Greek under-17 team, Alexandros Alexiadis, to help get him back on his feet and relaunch his career. The trio conceived Project Jesse 2.0 during lockdown in March 2020, when they masterminded a plan to resurrect not only Lingard the player, but Jesse the person who was in an incredibly dark place. The confidence-sapped player had his brother sending videos from his under-21 days for club and country. The end goal was an attempt to remind Lingard what a good player he had been. They finally got Alex on board for tactical analysis of every upcoming opponent just in case he played. A major incentive was Lingard's desire to represent England again, and they channeled his motivation and gave him a future target. He worked hard to maintain his fitness, stayed professional, and finally got the loan move to West Ham. Lingard made an unforgettable debut against Aston Villa, scoring twice in a clear sign of things to come. To his credit, Lingard kept training like a professional despite not getting game time at United and he was raring to go by the time he finally had the chance at West Ham. His personal support team were thorough in motivating Lingard during his dark times. They had also employed the use of a whiteboard in his apartment full of motivational words, like Panama, the 2018 World Cup opponents he scored against, or take risks, hungry, get at him three cup final goals to remind him of his achievements. The 28-year-old confessed to waking up every morning, looking at the board and writing a new word each night. Before it got filled, he wrote down a reasonable target of four goals and two assists at West Ham by the March Internationals, and sure, he did that. Lingard was enjoying his football with the high-flying hammers, and when confident, 
The boundaries of Lingard's abilities are massive. At the end of one of the most successful loan spells in recent history, he had bagged Player of the Month and Goal of the Month awards while earning a few more international caps before England's Euro 2020 campaign. It showed how far Lingard had come and the hard work and determination behind the scenes to get back. Happy and in a much better place, Jesse Lingard will be creating magic for a few more years, thanks to a spell of redemption at West Ham. We hope you've enjoyed watching our video. Why not give us a like and comment for your suggestions on our next topic. Remember to subscribe for more of our videos. Thanks and see you later.